Hello and good evening friends, relatives, partners, peers, wherever you are. I'm hoping you are enjoying weekend. I'm hoping you are healthy in being surrounded with your loved one. I'm going to share with you right now during this coffee talk, a matter that can be on and off in our daily life, in our job environment, in our working environment. It is about background checking. Is it important in terms of background checking? In my humble opinion, yes, it is. But the next question raised is, is background checking giving us the right picture, an objective picture of an applicant's background? Well, in my humble opinion, it can be objective, but many times it can be very subjective too. If you are lucky enough, if your potential employer calls the, your company or your previous company, if you're lucky enough, you can be getting you know, the right fits of, of, of comments about yourself. Or if you are unlucky, well, you can get all those bad uh, you know, inputs about yourself or whoever you are that can be misleading. It, it may not be based on fact. It's debatable, right? So the next question raised following this discussion is that, so which one is more important? For example, I'm just giving you some thoughts or, or, or some discussion points. Is it background checking or is it the uh, your job interview itself? Would we stop when we heard something bad about an applicant's background? Would we not continue with the job interview invitation to this guy or girl? Okay. If I were human resources, I would continue in finding this guy for a job interview. Okay? So that we can be smart enough to make a comparison. We mix those elements of screenings or uh, filtering. Of course, that background checking is important, but the job interview can play a very important role itself. Why? Because when we do a job interview, we can have a very direct feeling about what these applicants say to us. We can hear from him a valid answers right in front of your face, our face, about what he can say about himself. We can hear directly from him whatever achievements that he had made through during his present job or previous jobs, and then we can make this as a point of assessment. We make the assessment based on the background checking and the job interview itself, and of course, the earlier process is the CV screening and reading and all, and all that matters, all right? What do you think about this? If we are, are you know, a superstar, don't you think that many people will not like you? It can happen, okay? If you're good enough, maybe some people don't like you in your working environment. It can happen anywhere. So that's when the background checking can be subjective because the people that receive a call from a, a company's human resources are the ones that not like you. Am I right to say so? Do you agree with what I say? So let's be smart in terms of uh, choosing people, filtering, screening, and selecting people that will work for you, that will work with you. And this is a matter of being smart in terms of the world of human resources. I'm not a human resources expert, but I've been hearing here and there about this kind of grievances from people that are applying for jobs wherever they are. Okay, let's enjoy our weekend. This is Saturday and we still have Sunday. Let's be re-energized and well, it's October coming to an end. Two months to go to the end of 2022. Let's be uh, courageous about the year to come. Okay, stay healthy everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.